Hello everyone, welcome back. I just thought I'd make a video today to tell you how I set up my breviary. I had a bunch of questions about how I mark my breviary, how I use my breviary, and how I pray the liturgy of the hours with my breviary. So if that interests you, please stick around because that's what this video is all about. So this is my breviary, and this is my St. Joseph guide. It's the St. Joseph Guide to the Liturgy of the Hours, the four-volume set for this year. I always keep mine clipped because I like having it clipped and then I know where it is. It often sits with my breviary, under my breviary. And the reason I like this so much is that it tells you what page numbers to go to. And then it tells you on days, like let's look at Wednesday. It says it's a Wednesday of the ordinary week or you could do the Perpetual and Felicity Memorial. So it gives you the options. It tells you where to find the stuff. So I really like this. So let's open her up and see what we've got. This is a photo I keep in the front. Um, usually it's my family or my friends, somebody that I'm making sure I'm praying for. And in the back, I keep this pile of things. So what is in this pile of things? This is the invitatory. Also has the canticles. It's number one, the common texts. This comes with your breviary when you order it. This one also comes with the breviary when you order it. This is my Solemnities and Feast Days one. It has all of the Psalms for morning prayer one for Sunday, for the first week, if that makes sense. Sunday week one. <laughs> so that's always in there because then they're easily accessible. And then I have, these are veiling cards from Veils by Lily. I keep them in there in case someone will ask me about them. I have a Pope St. John Paul II in here because he's awesome and I always ask him to pray for me. And then I have the St. Therese of the Child Jesus in here, the little flower one, because I love her novena prayer. So those are what I keep in the back and in the front of my breviary. Now we get into the part with how I mark my breviary. So the first thing that you'll notice is I have my green one. The green one opens to the propers. And I'm filming this on Sunday, so it's on Sunday. It's set for evening prayer two, which is what we have this week. And then the purple one is the next one. So I keep this one set there, and these two are the ones that I flip back and forth if I need to. Oops, oops, purple. And then the purple one is set to the ordinary. And since it's currently week three is where we are, and I'm filming this again on Sunday, so it's set for evening prayer two on Sunday, and it starts right here. I like to keep it just so it's for antiphon one, so I know where I'm at when I open my breviary. That's just how I have set it up and how I work with it. So the ordinary will, for... Lent ends after the third psalm. And then you have to flip back to the green one to pray. It gives you the reading, responsory, canticle, intercessions, and the prayer. So that's what I do for morning and evening prayer. Blue is what I keep set for night prayer. Um, night prayer is one of my favorite prayers to pray. I have most of them memorized, but I still set it for night prayer. So it's set for night prayer so that I can turn right to blue and I'll be at night prayer. I don't have it marked for, at the end of night prayer, you finish with the antiphon in honor of the Blessed Virgin. I don't have any of these, I don't have this one marked because I have the ones that I pray memorized, so I don't have to flip to it very often. Now we get to the more interesting ones. We have the yellow and the red. The yellow gives us the proper of saints, or the day and then the saint, and then it gives you the prayers for that saint's day. It tells you where to look for the rest of the stuff if you need to find it somewhere else. And that's what I keep my yellow for. My yellow is just really, hey, that's my saint. I should pray that saint prayer if I can during the day. Throw it in, it says it on here. It tells me where, what parts I will pray because during Lent you pray different parts of this proper of saints than you would during ordinary time sometimes. And they're all commemorations, so that's how that one works. The red one is at my commons. The commons are what you pray if you're praying certain commons about, like, the common of the Blessed Virgin or the common of the Apostles, the common of virgins, the common of preachers. There's a lot of different commons, and they usually correspond with the feast days. So I set these two, to the yellow and the red together usually, and flip to those if I need to. I usually have to make a note somewhere so I remember to use them, because I just normally stick with my first three colors. Green is my proper seasons, purple is my common, and blue is my night prayer. So that's how I set up my, my breviary and how I find things in it when I need it. 
and I really, really love this bravery. It's wonderful. This is the four volume set, like I said, and I said it was setting it up for Lent because I had a question specifically about Lent. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it was helpful because everyone sets up their bravery a little different and sometimes my bravery is set up different and sometimes there's a lot more things in it, but it all depends on the season and what I'm feeling at the time when I set it up, but that's roughly how I set up my bravery every time. If that was helpful, please let me know. If you have any other things you'd like me to make a video about, let me know in the comments because I'm making a video every day during Lent, so make sure you subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of all the new videos. I will see you next time. God bless.